Hello everyone, this is Zach. Today I'll be talking to you about data visualization. You can read the chapters data visualization and exploratory data analysis from this free online book for more details. Data visualization is about a visual representation of data. For example, you might have uh, some weights and miles per gallons of cars and you can plot them on a graph. And once you look at the graph, it's very clear that cars which are heavier tend to have worse miles per gallon. So visualization is important uh, as you have commonly heard the saying, a picture paints a thousand words. And what it means is that an image or a figure can communicate information much more vividly and clearly than just writing the same information in lots of words or using lots of numbers. Here's a very famous image that displays the movements and the number of uh, troops that Napoleon had as he began his disastrous Russian campaign. So this is a pretty interesting plot, but and I recommend you take some time to look over it uh, if you want to know some of the interesting details. So why is visualization important? Uh, there's a famous data set called Anscom's Quartet which was constructed in 1973 by a statistician called Francis S. Anscombe. And this data set teaches you two important lessons. The first is that it is important to graph data before you analyze it. And secondly, uh, the data set shows you that by visualizing the data, you understand it much better than if you just look at numerical calculations, such as the mean and standard deviation. This data set was constructed with basically there are four sets of data in this data set, and the mean and variance of x and y are the same. The correlation between x and y is also the same, as was well the regression equation. However, if you plot the four data sets, they look very, very different, as you can see here. For example, the data set, the, first, the top left data set uh, basically shows a good fit to the regression line with some error plus or minus. The second data set on the top right shows kind of a nonlinear relationship uh, that's, that's quite clear. And the bottom left-hand data set shows a very strong linear relationship with one outlier. Finally, the last data set has all the data points kind of bunched together with the same x but a different y value and one very strange outlier as well. So the summary statistics, the numbers, give you the same, you get the same numbers for these four data sets, but if you graph them, you understand very clearly what the relationship is between y and x. So data visualization is powerful, but as someone wise mentioned, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, let's look at one example of this plot of the average male height, aged 21. Does this plot really represent the data accurately? Not really. Uh, if you look here, the, the person born in 1975 appears to be twice as wide and twice as tall as a person who was born in 1875. Uh, but if you look at the numbers, that's the difference between 167 centimeters and 177 centimeters. So there is definitely a height difference, but it's relatively small, 10 centimeters out of you know, 170 centimeters. So this plot does not represent the data accurately because 
the y-axis starts at 158 instead of starting at 0, which it should. So whenever you plot your data, you need to be careful about making sure that your plots represent the data accurately and are not like lying or tricking the person looking at the data. Alright, that's all for now. See you next time. Bye!